Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so my last video cut us off, so it missed quite a bit. So where we ended on Maribel is we started, um, we traced out an outline of where the embroidery line is gonna go. So if you can kind of follow here, I know it's kind of hard to see in the, oh, you can kind of see it right there. It's this line right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this over for just a second and then we'll get started on that. Um, this is a book binding tool that I'm gonna show you right now from We Are Memory Keepers. And I have not used it for the book binding, but I needed a, it comes with this um, little hole puncher. It's really sturdy and strong. So that's what I'm gonna use for this. So I drew out my pattern, right? And now I'm going to use this book binding tool, this little hole and this puncher to create all the dots so that my, my needle can go up and down more easily. I tried to just take my needle and to do this, but the paper was so thick, it was really hard to do. So I'm going to start this here. I'm going to use this hole so that there's an area for me to go down. And here we go. You want to keep it evenly spaced if you can. I was not so good at doing that because it was kind of like my first time and I wasn't sure which strategy was going to be best. But I think you can kind of see the holes. But you can see the holes better on this side. So you see how that is? Let me zoom in a little bit more. There. So you can see that better. So that's the holes, right? So, um, and actually you can see the white better like that too. So I'm gonna continue doing this. You don't want the holes too close together because what will happen is we're using a really thick needle, so it's kind of wide. I'm also using embroidery floss so that it sticks out more than just thread. And so if you put it too close together, your needle may break you know, the in-between space and then you would just have one big hole, <laughs> which you don't want. So. Um, don't do it too close together, not too far apart. It's one of those things. <laughs> Something slightly in the middle is going to be perfect, right? Easier said than done, for sure. All right. Now, I am, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to finish my template. So I drew out my little thing. Um, let's do that. I know the problem with this is I start to get impatient and then my <laughs> my spacing gets off. Um, but it's, you know, it was, I didn't, I, I liked the, the threading. It was, it was, um, I did it while I was watching TV. I was watching the Super Bowl and it was not like tedious like I thought it was going to be. I actually enjoyed it way more than I thought it would. <laughs> Okay, so you can kind of see, it's this part is really easy. This tool is really nice to have. Um, I'll make sure that it's on my Amazon shop. Okay, so we have that. I started to thread this one when the, when the video cut off on the previous one. So this is really thick. It's um, embroidery floss. And I like it because I needed this color for this paper. It was just the right combination. So it's so thick that I didn't loop it because normally you would have one big loop, right? And you would tie it at the end. In this case, I have it hanging here just enough so that I can thread it through and take the rest of the string in. So let me show you what that looks like. So you're just gonna go up and down like you would if you were sewing a, you know, you were patching up a little hole on your shirt or something. So I'm gonna go up. And pull this through. And you can see, I'm gonna show you the back side again. And then go down. So you can see it's starting to come through. Now on the back side, I didn't even bother to tie this down. I left just enough so that it's not gonna go anywhere and then I'm gonna tape this down and then glue the whole thing. So I'm gonna do just a few more so that you can see it. Now when you pull it through the paper, I always have like my two fingers here to, 
oh sorry my two fingers here to support the paper so that it doesn't crinkle or kind of bend um this paper is thick and it's you know it's nice and of good quality it's basil but you can easily damage it so i mean with what we're doing so you want to just pull through so you can see the even even spacing is going to make this stitching look really nice um i'm not always so good at that granted this is only my second project doing this so um i'll try to get better <laughs> but i do love this so you can see it's not it's super fast if like if you prep this and then you know do it while you're catching up on um yellowstone or something i know i like to plug my the, my favorites um okay so that's it so you're going to continue stitching i need to do the rest of this pattern but that's it so you can see this is what it's going to look like it it's going to go from up here it's going to go around it does a little loop right here and then it's going to come down and then it's going to continue through here so that's going to look really really pretty on her skirt so that's how you do that i'm going to move this aside i'm going to show you this little guy because this stopped recording on me so a couple tips on how to do these um this is the clover brand this is to make specifically to make tassels it's nice because these two things can unscrew and you can change the length so that it's important to do this because if you do more than one tassel you want to make sure that you have something it doesn't have to be this i like this though because this is it this is all that it comes with and it helps you keep it sturdy um it you know you can change the size um but you want something sturdy because you want them of equal equal sizing um all right so what you're going to want to do is i have my yarn here i already finished my five um but i will do another one the other thing that you need to do is i'm going to use this side right here i'm going to go from here so i'm going to start it down here you want to do the same amount of loops so i did 20 okay so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm gonna finish here because i just want to show you what it looks like so i went all the way to 20 on mine okay so you're going to scooch it down you're going to take it off your little contraption Oops. okay keep it in the loop like this i'm just going to put it down for a second because i forgot to cut my string um, I'm going to use this one. Okay. And we're going to go to the top of it and we're just going to double knot it at the top. Okay. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut the bottom and that's going to be the tails, like the little edges at the bottom. Okay. The other thing that I like to use with this is these are just your ponytail holders. Um, you know, it's a good price and these, <clears throat> these give you a really good hold. So what you're going to do is you're going to loop this top part right here like this. Just like you would hair, <laughs> like your ponytail, basically. So I'm gonna loop this. So these I looped three times. This one has less, so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do one more. Okay, so that's all that there is to it. Then you wanna measure, like I measured, I lined them all up and I knew I was gonna cut around the three and a half inches. So you can see from here to here. So on this one, if I were to do the same size, I would cut right around here. And that's it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm gonna do on the skirt, and I'm gonna try it so I don't hit, last time I hit my mouse and it stopped recording, I think is what happened. Okay, Um. let me move it this way. Okay. So this is the bottom of her skirt, okay? 
the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna line up the tassels right around here. I'm gonna trim this part off. So I'm gonna cut this really close to the knot, okay? Then I'm actually gonna put hot glue gun right here and I'm gonna put it glue like head down like that. So you don't see that top part, but this will pop out and then this will be open on the bottom like that. So I'm gonna do five of them on the bottom of her skirt. All right, so that's that. Let me move this out of the way. Um, so we've got the stitching and that. So tomorrow, and I'm sorry, this one cut off so that it's a two-parter even though it was super short. Tomorrow we're going to do the sublimation on the HTV flock. So I'm gonna try that out to do the leaves, really colorful leaves on her dress. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put together the foam boards because she is four feet tall. So she's gonna require two foam boards. We're gonna glue them together and cut the outline and you know glue her down. So all right, I hope that was helpful and I can't wait to see you guys do it. I can't wait to finish her. She's gonna look amazing. And at four feet tall, oh my gosh, she's gonna be as big as those kids that we're making it for. So my daughter is 40, I think she's right at 48 inches. So I, I just can't wait for the pictures. It's gonna look amazing. There's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be the moving pom-poms, um, the stitching, everything's gonna look more than just paper. So I'm so excited. All right, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much.